When KU football rolls into Manhattan for the Sunflower Showdown, you can count on K-State students to arrive early to the stadium and express their school spirit in colorful ways. The game on November 7, 2009 was no exception. Since 5.30, <laughs> we're really tired. Students, families, alumni, and fans filled the parking lot with purple to get excited to cheer on the cats. The K-State tailgating experience holds a special place in many students' hearts. K-State tailgating experience, you can't put words to it, it's the best. Tailgating experience is more than half the football game, it's the funnest part. This is what brings all the fans together. So, this is what brings everybody out here to root on the team. We're known for our fan base, of course. We have like really the best student section in the world. <laughs> Not even like soccer in Europe can beat us. <laughs> Another way students showed their school spirit was by painting their clothes and bodies. Students felt it was a fun way to support the Wildcats, but they also had their own specific reasons for choosing to do it. To make sure they heard us when we talked bad stuff on them. That, and it's honestly going to be a nice day. It's a, it's a <laughs> gorgeous day. Well, I've been coming here since I was in kindergarten, so the fact that our team is okay again, the tradition, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's undescribable. I just feel like I should be a purple person all the time, wearing these pants to school every day. Following the Jayhawk Club's billboard being vandalized again, the word of the day was EMA, and fans showed that they believe that every man is a wildcat. K-State Nation and Emaw. Emaw! This has been Stephanie Carr with the K-State Collegian.